so b- before you came on today, <clears throat> yeah, I think I'd, I'd, I don't know if I contacted Coney, but but I told Joe, hey, we got to book some some buddy because you'd we had I'd seen you at the show and you were telling me the story. I was like, well, I'll just come tell you know tell your story in the podcast. Like so 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 we go book you come on. Coney had no clue. Like anything coming up here today? No, nothing. We, we were going to start to talk about the story, but I was like, "No, no, just, just wait till somebody gets on." Conan, <laughs> what do you think of this story? Oh, I'm sure it's 100 percent true, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? At, let me ask you a question. How many similar, Here's the thing. We, we similar were, stories to this have you have you heard? A million, bro. <laughs> a million. You know, from the from the fucking from the uh, my plane was late because the fucking. Um, the the door fell off um, to the fucking uh, the narcos knocked on my door. I'm like, why would they knock on your fucking door? They knocked on my door, then they broke it down. But then my 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 no, they broke down the first door. But then they knocked on his room door. Okay, so they knocked down they knocked down the front door, but knocked on his door. And then I don't know how he figured out that they were narcos. He jumped out of the window. Okay, and. He was lucky that an ambulance happened to be passing around that time, and the ambulance took him to the hospital. It's always some fucking – there was another one where I had him on the MLW show, um, this other podcast I used to do, Sin. Are you there? Right. And yeah. he was trying to tell me that he had um, – uh, you know, some done some like voodoo shit where like they threw him in a grave with 10,000 corpse. And then he said that there was this fucking tree that – um, they had hung people in, right? And that you could see eyes in the tree. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? He goes, yeah, there's yeah. a picture of it. And I was like, bro, do you know um, people are listening to you on this podcast? There's an actual picture of eyes in a tree. Obviously, I've never seen this picture. But he ain't afraid to double down on just any ridiculousness, you know? We, now, we, were, all, we were all in a room one night, and he was trying to tell me that some of the luchadors used to practice taking big bumps by getting on top of cars and taking, putting their hands in and taking back bumps onto the cement. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know, we're like, and we're like, remember, like, we're looking at him going, like, what? You know, it's just, <laughs> oh, it's great, right? He happened to be walking, uh, he was a bodyguard for Millie Vanilli. They threw him out of the junior hockey league because his hair was too long, which, according to Chris Jericho, that isn't true. I'm um, just, bro, I could just <laughs> He's go a great, off. You know what, though? He's entertaining. No, no, no. It's actually, he, maybe he's entertaining, and maybe. <clears throat> Maybe because he might be the biggest, single most biggest bullshit art artist in the business, like the number one ranked bullshit artist. Right. Like literally, that that's what that's what he is. That he but, continuously, maybe he thinks that that is what he is. That he continuously tries to like main his maintain his top spot right. by just doing like the most rotten things you could possibly do <laughs> to try to be like the biggest. You know, I mean, what do you think? You, you, that, that, is that plausible, uh, Sin? Well, uh, I'll tell you, like, so, like, you know, keeping an eye on these posts and whatever and getting all my stooge reports and seeing all this stuff, like, he would put up, like, like, he plays off like it's this punk rock thing. It's not. Just being a thief isn't, you know, or being whatever. Like, I, I tell all my students, I don't train you to keep, you know, cheap labor. I want to see you guys go out and travel and live your dreams. You know, so I, I've told everybody, if you want to go check out another show, check out other schools. That's what I, like, I want you to go travel the planet and everything and then vampiro would get on there and be like yeah i'm going to open up a school but in the same breath he say oh, i don't know how i've never really learned how to wrestle so but i'm going to train you and show you stuff that nobody else could show you like so what is it make up your fucking mind but then he'll say oh a lot of guys are going to be haters on this and he's very like passive aggressive like, he won't say names but he'd be passive aggressive about it i'm like when people ask me like i could give a crap less if him or anybody else is going to run a school or a show i just don't want to be stolen from just don't call it you know, my name, unless you're buying it from me. And then again, that was part two of this whole thing was, so after the, the t-shirt thing went, he, last week, he put up a thing. That's for very ballsy, bro. To actually put up a t-shirt that said Lucha Las Vegas. Let me tell you something. This As if you fit. weren't going to see it. Right. And they this- did, the, did the same thing this week on, on Facebook. And as soon as the, he put up the school and a, and a, uh, you know, whatever, a post about the school, like a big student page or a student page or whatever. And it said Lucha Libre Las Vegas. My lawyers were like, hell no. And he talked to their lawyer, like they talked to his lawyers or whatever. And next thing you know, it, it's it's switched to something else. I'm like, I don't care what you call it. Just don't call it my shit unless you're buying, buying it I'll, for me. I'll tell you, I'm going to throw this out there. And this is this is the evolution of wrestling. And that, that in the year 2019, do we have to pay this off with a match? 
<laughs> like, is, this, is this how we have to promote like like you know a big angle like 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 what if this is like a big like you know like like a, th- this would be a great angle if you guys fought each other you know yeah. so, but like it's real but then, it'd then still be great if you guys fought each other <laughs> so it's like you know not, these are awesome promos dude I, i'm a pro man the only place that we can't do it is on a wrestling show because i would keep him safe i would keep i would keep the worst of the worst safe in the ring i'm a pro i'm not going to take advantage just give me an out Give me an alley. And <laughs> oh man, this is great yeah. stuff, huh? I just, I just baffled. I was just so baffled that he just thought that that would be okay, not just in business, but just in karma and everything. Like, who well, does not that? Just that, bro. It's like, come on, he's got to be smart enough to know, or at least think. I mean, didn't he ever give you the benefit of that that you might have registered it, or ha- you know what I'm saying? I mean, he just straight bum rushed it. Thinking like, A, you weren't going to say shit, and B, isn't he even thinking, well, fuck, what if this guy has this shit already registered, copyrighted, trademarked, whatever whatever the qualified Bro, what if, term might be? What if, what if, you know, I'm what going if, to get sued, or the guy I'm working for is going to get sued. No, it's just it's simple. The way he tried to bullshit you, he went back and bullshitted the other guy and said, yeah, he's not going to like sue you if you if you do it. Yeah, that's what that's, I'm that's, seriously, that's probably what yeah. happened, right? You know, he probably yeah. convinced the other guy, go ahead, because he's not going to sue you. You know, yes, exactly. he's right. Yeah. Exactly what I thought he did, and again, I I can't prove that. I can only legally right, say right. what we've seen, and I've seen him post the stuff, show the lawyers. We can legally say whatever we want, so we think that's how it went yeah, down. Whatever would lead, whatever conversation we'll talk would lead them you. Right. to go and try and, 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 and advertise the Lucha, the Lucha, the Las Vegas Lucha stuff and everything. I was like, whatever conversation that was, you know, that was not honest. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I mean, oh my god. Well, we can legally say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, 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 here, here's the legal jargon. In my opinion. Yeah, right. Well, right. Right. Uh, that's great. <laughs> Reports of like, you know, he was at this little show. Like, so when FSW did the big uh, 10th uh, anniversary show, of course, he wanted all those guys to come and do something on that day, you know, or we did that, mm. like the, the natural born killers thing with cross. Of right. course, he wanted guys to come that day. Like, I'm like, you're, you're kind of, you're burning bridges with, with Joe and me and every other promoter and every other wrestler. Like, what are you, what are you thinking, dude? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and again, so but you, you should know. be you should be ashamed of yourself because the T-shirts were for medical uh, services or whatever, right? For medical <laughs> for medicine, yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself, sin. 